What if our whole world is just a dream and we will wake up when we die? Now I know most of you would not agree to this quote and of course that is obvious for a science geek. But according to some science geeks it is possible that you are currently watching this video in a dream. Well according to data most of people sleep for 8 hours in a 24 hour day which means they dream for at least 2 hours in REM state. So if you calculate a bit it will turn out that there is 10% possibility that you are currently dreaming. But it never felt that way right? Well that's because we barely remember our dreams. Almost 95% of our dreams are forgotten after 2 minutes of waking up. But to be honest, what's the divergence barrier between a dream and reality from where we can able to differentiate like you can say that it is not a dream, you are watching this video in reality. Well, it is the consciousness or awaking we feel that it's real. You can remember that legendary movie Inception here. Inception has shown us the similar concepts about dreams and reality and also a technique how their characters able to differentiate between dreams and reality. Although they were lucid dreaming, a type of dream where you can do things according to your will. But still, this self awaken and consciousness thing is not just enough to nullify our doubts and theories about the reality that it could be just another dream. Because even in your dreams you are unbelievably conscious. Inside your dream world you think that this is your reality. And there is no way that another reality realer than the dream could exist, but actually it does. So maybe dream is something else, much more complex than what we think it is. Maybe dream takes us or our consciousness into a parallel universe or probably our reality is another dream and we would find ourselves in the real world someday, probably after our death. Still, these are all just thoughts or rather I would say philosophies by renowned philosophers and thinkers like René Descartes. Although listening to different peoples who have encountered near death experiences is somewhat mind boggling. Most of them stated that at the time when they were about to die, they have experienced something sublime or rather divine, like their spirits were woken or they kind of felt more alive and awake than they actually ever felt in their lives. They phrased it as the realer than the real, like they felt to be more awakened with more knowledge and consciousness. Now scientifically it has various explanations and reasons to happen. Like brain gets hyperactive for a moment that time and life flashes before our eyes for 7 minutes or something. But still there is no foolproof reason that why this happens in the first place. Is it just a normal phenomena or our consciousness gets shifted to another world by quantum realm? Now quantum physics is something that always helped us a lot to understand and explain phenomena that surpasses our normal barrier of science. Basically, it has the ability to take us into the universe of beyond science and imaginations. So here, if we match our hypotheses about dreams to some laws and concepts of quantum physics, then it may become convincing or maybe not, but it will be extremely interesting. Here I want to introduce two incredible phenomena of quantum world. One is a law and another one is a concept. The law is one of the basic laws of quantum physics referred as wave particle duality and it tells us that quantum particles such as photons and electrons behave as waves when not observed but they can behave as particles too when we observe them. Now it may look normal on paper but applied reality of this phenomena is scarier. According to this law if you have something on your hand and neither you nor anyone is watching that then that thing will exist as a wave like in the pure data format and the moment you focus your eyes on it, it will be back into its matter form again. Now probably you are wondering that what's this theory is to do with dreams. Well, if your consciousness is the key for everything around you to stay in the particle form, then when you asleep and go in unconscious mode, as your forebrain controls your consciousness such as logic and thinking which is basically turned off during your sleep so you are not conscious in this world after all. And because of your unconscious mode in this reality it might be possible from the perspective of your consciousness that nothing exists as it is or rather this reality becomes a wave of data for you. And as your consciousness gets focused on your dream reality which can also be an alternate parallel reality due to the phenomenon known as quantum consciousness. So basically you are conscious in that reality. 
But what exactly is quantum consciousness anyway? This is actually a concept and philosophy which features quantum information and entanglement to define that the molecules of our nerve cells are connected to each other and with the universe. Famous physicists like Roger Penrose has also worked on this concept. They define these tiny molecules and particles as tubules, and every tubule works on a same pattern, not within the brain but also outside the brain within the universe. It is like they are connected to each other by quantum entanglement. And when we die or dream in our sleep, our consciousness gets shifted to the universe. Now if we combine these two concepts together, we can imagine a great phenomenon here. It might be possible that our consciousness gets shifted to another parallel universe through the quantum consciousness and we actually spend some time in a different reality as our consciousness don't exist in this world during our sleep. And as our consciousness doesn't exist, we don't observe this reality. And as we don't observe this reality, it exists merely in a form of wave data. However, according to this speculation, it might also be possible that right now we are dreaming this world and our real world is somewhere else where we actually live. Well, in that case, deja vu makes more sense as the glimpse of parallel world. Although this whole world could actually be just a simulation or a computer program made by Harbings or God. Now, what actually is a simulation? You probably have played video games for at least once in life and that is called a simulation and the video game characters you play with are called programs. And just like that, we could also be some kind of programs playing a part under some kind of complex simulation which we call universe. Now you might think that these all are just nonsense conversations, but there are some scientists and programmers who actually believe this hypothesis could be real. And according to them, within 200 years, it would be possible to create simulations so real that it would appear as a small world governed by its own rules. However, if our world is just like that and our whole lives are programmed, then our dreams are also being programmed to occur in different realities. And also, if you encounter recursive dreams like dream inside a dream and so on, then remember that it is also programmed within you.